Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. However, this week's giveaway is 200 Dogecoin, as we did announce any winner last Sunday. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video till the end, as we will be sharing a random hashtag keyword daily and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section. Good luck. Now let's continue with another bombshell news of Iraq dinar today, so stick till the end of this video. In this breaking news article, the Central Bank of Iraq unveils upcoming decisions aimed at reducing the price of the dollar. The bank's deputy governor, Amr Hamad Khalaf, explains that exchange companies will be provided with weekly quotas of dollars to sell to travelers at the official price. This move is significant for Iraq's economic and monetary reform, highlighting the nation's commitment to stabilize the dinar. First, let's read the article and please advise that the Google translation to English is sometimes confusing so make sure to watch until the end so we can expand on the article. The title of this article is the central bank, upcoming decisions next week that will contribute to devaluing the dollar. Today, Thursday, the Central Bank of Iraq announced new upcoming decisions that will be issued next week, which may contribute to reducing the price of the dollar. Deputy Governor Amr Hamad Khalaf said in an interview with the official channel that, quote, the central bank provides exchange companies with weekly quotas of dollars for the purpose of selling them to travelers at the official price and in limited quantities of $3,000 per traveler, indicating, quote, these exchange companies are licensed through the central bank according to controls and are in compliance with the anti-money laundering law. He added, quote, one of the basic tasks of all exchange companies A, B, and mediation C is to provide dollars to travelers at the official rate and in the quantity specified by the central bank, noting, Quote, there is an electronic platform that the central bank has been working on developing since the beginning of this year, and all dollar sales to citizens are done through this platform that is closely monitored by the central bank. And he stated, quote, the central bank finances the market in dollars through this platform for categories of merchants and small traders and through exchange companies for travelers only pointing out. Quote, banks finance private sector and government sector bonds through remittances and bonds of credit, and some of them sell cash dollars as the banks of Mesopotamia and Al Rashid through its outlets and airports, while exchange companies are specialized only in the process of selling dollars to travelers. And he stated, quote, the central bank submitted a proposal to the ports and customs, which is that any goods entering Iraq must ensure that the merchant financed these imports through the Central Bank of Iraq, pointing out, quote, the printing of the Iraqi currency will not be random. Regarding the increase in the monetary mass, Khalaf stressed that, quote, the process of increasing the monetary mass is directly linked to the process of increasing the foreign reserves owned by the Central Bank. So any financing for the public treasury is through the exchange of dollars obtained from oil sales with dinars and therefore any increase in the dinar mass comes mainly from foreign currency. He stated, quote, there is no fear of any increase in the monetary mass. On the exchange rate, Khalaf said, quote, the central bank issued several decisions related to the banking sector, explaining that, quote, other decisions 
will be issued next week, which may contribute significantly to reducing the exchange rate of the dollar. That's it for this breaking news article. The Central Bank of Iraq reveals upcoming decisions aimed at reducing the price of the dollar. The Deputy Governor, Amr Hamad Khalaf, explains that the Central Bank provides weekly quotas of dollars to exchange companies for selling them to travelers at the official price and limited quantities. The new measures include an electronic platform monitored by the Central Bank to ensure proper dollar sales and financing of the market. This news is crucial for Iraq's economic and monetary reform as it demonstrates the intention and focus of Iraq to add value to the dinar by reducing the exchange rate of the dollar and ensuring proper dollar sales. Iraq aims to stabilize the dinar's value and improve economic stability. The central bank's proposal to link imports to financing through the bank fosters transparency and control over foreign trade revaluing or reinstating the dinar and adding value now is vital for Iraq's economy as the upcoming decisions can significantly impact the dollar exchange rate. By reducing the dollar's price, Iraq can enhance purchasing power for citizens, lower import costs, and attract foreign investments. Implementing these measures promptly can bring positive effects on the overall economy, support financial stability, and strengthen the dinar's value in the international market. Delaying such reforms might hinder progress and economic growth, making it crucial to take action now to reap the benefits of a stronger dinar. What are your thoughts on this article today? Before ending this video, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is compliance. The, the winner will be announced this Sunday and will be in one of the Sunday's videos. Stay tuned and good luck. Please drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to add hashtag and the keyword for today. Also, don't forget to please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video.